Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. So I'm doing another eyeshadow tutorial for you girls today, and this is what the look looks like. It's really, really pretty. I'm using um, the Sephora Color Anthology, but if you have anything similar, uh, this is actually a burnt orange, a brown, and like a peachy color. They turned out more golden, but if you guys have anything similar, uh, it will come out, you know, pretty much the same. Um, just stay tuned, and I will get to the tutorial. Okay, let me show you girls the colors that we're using. This is the peekaboo color. It's a more of a, no, my bad. This is the burnt orange that's all over the lid. This is the peachy color. That is the peekaboo color. And we're gonna go over here to this like glittery brown. And that's all we're using today. And then we're using the highlight color for right below the brow, which would be this one. Or you could use this one down here. Either one that matches better with your skin tone. Um, but stay tuned and we will get to the, I'll send you guys to the tutorial. Okay, so I already primed my eyes. You can use a, you know, your foundation or an eye primer, whatever, to get the surface all one color and smooth. And I'm going to go to, so here's the palette. I'm going to go to this burnt orange on the top and I'm going to put this all over the eyelid. And it's interesting when I put these colors on, the burnt orange actually looks more, I mean it looks orange right there actually, my bad. But when I, when I uh, brush it out, it starts looking more gold. More of a like a, yeah. Okay, so you put it all over the eyelid. You're going to go to the peachy color right next to it. This one right here. And you're gonna put this for the highlighter color. So you're gonna put it right here your, on your brow bone. I know these colors are a little bit harder to show up on camera. Make it a little bit more vivid. You guys see that? And this orange, I mean this peach, actually looks very very similar to the orange it comes out very gold i thought it was going to be more peachy but it's very gold did i see that okay now we're going to go let's see here let me show you where the orange was we're going to go one two three colors down and we're going to use this brown now it's very interesting when i put this brown on it picked up these beautiful, beautiful uh, colors to it. You can put this in the crease. It has like sparkles of glitter all throughout. Try not to cover the camera for you. So you're going to put it all throughout the crease right here. And we're going to bring it up into that highlight, that peekaboo color. But we're not going to completely cover the peekaboo color and we're going to bring it straight down. Okay, just like that. So you can see the peekaboo color on top. Then you're going to get a blender brush. Whatever brush you use is a blender brush, whatever's clean. And you're going to go right on top of the lines. And we're going to blend them all nice and smooth and together. Once you have them all nice and blended, we're going to go back with a highlighter. I'm going to use this nude one right below the orange. I'm going to go back with the highlighter. I want to put that right directly under our eyebrow. And then you're going to take the highlighter and you're going to put it right smack dab in the middle, bringing it towards that lid color and a little bit under. Now I'm going to put my eyeliner on. Okay, so I just put my eyeliner on the top and then I lined my waterline. But I wanted to show you girls a tip who use um, liquid eyeliner. What you can do is you can take a brush and some black eyeliner and get rid of that shiny eyeliner look by just taking your black on your brush and patting it on top of your liner. 
I actually like to do this because I don't like my eyeliner to be shiny in a lot of my daytime looks. And what this is doing is it's making it matte and almost like setting it for you. So that's all you're doing is just patting, patting, patting the black. And then from this point, you're going to take some of that black. This is totally optional because this could be the completed look if you wanted it to. And you're just going to take that brush and run it right in the very, very corner under the lash line. You're going to go back with the skinny brush and you're going to go back to that brown that we used. Pat it in and we're going to put this under our lashes so the brown on top matches the brown on the bottom. And we're just going to put it right under. And we're even going to go right under the black that we put in the corner. Now these eyeshadows do tend to fall out. I know you can't see it as much, so I'm going to clean up, put my rest of makeup on, and show you guys what it looks. But this is the completed, completed look. Really, really pretty. I'm going to put some eyelashes on with this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the completed look with my foundation and my blush and everything on. Let me pick it up. I did not put the lashes on because I just, eh, give my lashes a break for today. Let me get close up and you guys can see this. See, isn't it interesting how the uh, burnt orange and the peach turned out more golden, but it's still really a pretty look and they, all the colors, they complement each other. So if you guys actually like this look, um, you know, um, comment or share my video and I guess that's it you know God bless everybody who watches my video I really appreciate it if you guys um, want to look me up on Facebook I do have a page there it will be connected down below but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I am Christina Marie I'm out bye